Hi, I'm Wes Zellin. I'm uh, chairman of Cook Optics, and we're here at IVC with uh, the Dato crew talking about our new stuff. And uh, here we have our new Cook Anamorphics, uh, and we're quite excited about those. We, we took a look at, at anamorphic, and we took a look at why people are shooting anamorphic today. And the resurgence in the interest in anamorphic, I believe, really comes from the fact that digital can be a great homogenizing agent and make a lot of things boring. And I think people are looking for ways to make their pictures different and give it a new and different look. And anamorphic fulfills that. So when we, when we started to design the anamorphic lenses, we wanted to bring anamorphic in lenses up to the modern age, but we didn't want to do it with, that, with taking the anamorphic character away from the lens. We wanted to keep the things that make it sort of interesting. The, obviously, it has two depths of field because you're really working with two lenses at the same time. A wide, a wide angle lens in the horizontal and a regular lens in, in the vertical. Has some strange flares that can get colorful. Um, so a lot of those things we tried to keep, the, that anamorphic character, uh, because if you don't want that, you can just shoot spherical Super 35. So we, with that in mind, we, we've developed this new uh, anamorphic eye range. Uh, there, there will initially be seven lenses in the range from 25, 32, 40, 50, 75, 100, 135, and with God willing, we'll have them released by March of 2014. And we're really pleased with them. We have the range here. Unfortunately, they're not all real, but they will be by March. This has been a really remarkable year for Cook. After uh, being in, being a brand for 127 years, we uh, got it recognized this year by the Motion Picture Academy with our own uh, uh, Oscar, which was uh, I was quite excited to accept on behalf of the company in February. And the Oscar really was given in recognition of all the contributions we've made to the industry over the years. And we go back all the way to Charlie Chaplin and Edison and, and George Eastman. Uh, our first motion picture lens was in fact uh, introduced to the market in the early 1900s. For, and to my knowledge, it was the first purpose-built motion picture lens. The Speed Pancros uh, came in in the 20s that actually made sound movies possible. Uh, in the 30s, there were the Technicolor lenses that were developed by us, which was an original design, an inverse telephoto. That's, these, lens, these lens forms have in fact become standards in the industries and mostly developed by Cook. Uh, in the last 15 years, since I've been uh, the owner of Cook, we've been uh, really blessed. We, we started 15 years ago introducing the S4s, which pretty much has set the standard in the industry. There are 18 lenses in that range now. We started with four, uh, and they run from 12 up to 300. A few years ago, we introduced the five eyes, which are T14, uh, running from eight, currently 18 to 135. Uh, also a few years ago, we introduced the mini S4s, which are T28 lenses, and smaller and lighter, and really well suited for today's ca uh, faster electronic cameras. Um, I can't even remember how many, I think there are nine lenses in that range starting at 18 to 135. And then of course this year, as I said, we've introduced the anamorphics, uh, which make it a pretty complete prime lens range. Uh, and I think we can cover most, most your needs at whatever speed uh, you want. And one of the key things we've done with all the Cook lenses is that we the Cook look, which is really renowned in the industry and, and, and a, a lot of cinematographers really appreciate it is all, in all our lenses. So it doesn't matter if you shoot with the mini S4s, the S4s, the five eyes or the anamorphics, they're going to look have the, the cook look that people have uh, come to know and love. Uh, in fact, the film Hugo, uh, last year's Academy Award winning film, was shot with fives, fours and minis. And you know, I defy anybody to look at the film and say which shot, which shot was shot with what lenses. So uh, they all blend together well and have the, that cook look that people love.
Also at IVC this year, we, we, we are showing for the first time the production version of our new Cook metrology line, which is the, in, this, in this case, it's our new projector. Uh, most projectors on the market today, uh, lens projectors, really can't pass a beam larger than T2. And lenses now are, are running at T14, T13. So we, we create it with our partners at Pure 4C, uh, the Cook lens projector. We're also, and we're also doing this hopefully at, I think, what is a really good price as well. So we think we give you a lot of value for your money. Uh, out, uh, the projector can handle almost any, just about any lens, multiple mounts. It comes with PL, but it can go EF, anything, any kind of interchangeable mount system. Uh, it's very bright. As you can see, you can actually use it in normal light like we're in this in this booth right now, it, it's usable. Obviously, you'd rather use it in a dark room. The other thing we've announced here at IVC, about 12 years ago here, we announced the slash I metadata system that uh, Cook has introduced, uh, as I said, 12 years ago here at IVC. This year at IVC, we're announcing the I squared system, which is the next generation. And the thing that this does, in addition to all the normal lens metadata that you would expect, We've now built, we're now building into the lenses inertial motion components so that it now will help track the shot. It'll, you'll have a readout of all the motion of the lens and therefore the camera. So if you're doing any kind of tracking shot and you're tracking and the software that you're tracking with loses tr sight of the tracking markers or has a complicated move that it cannot resolve, it can refer to the inertial data to resolve those shots, and we're, we're quite excited about that. And the effects, the effects industry is really looking forward to this as a as a, a solution for those shots that are really difficult to track.